What's up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Today I'm giving away a really cool instant film transition that I created myself for Final Cut Pro 10. All right guys, so here we are inside Final Cut Pro and here's the transition that I'm giving away today. It is the instant film zoom transition. So we're gonna select that transition and we're gonna drag it into our timeline in between these two drone clips. And I wanna show you guys real quickly what exactly is happening. So the instant film comes in from above and it immediately is revealing our next clip. So it reveals and then it zooms in to fill the entire frame. So I really like how that turned out. And before we head over into the inspector and I show you guys all the things that you can customize with this transition, I just wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you like content like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Okay, making sure that we have the transition selected on our timeline, we're gonna head over into the inspector, and the first thing that you guys can customize is the speed in which the instant film comes into the first frame. By default, I have it set to natural, but you guys can choose any of those other options and see what you like best. Next, we can fully customize the text. So by default, I have it set to summer, but I'm gonna put Denver, and you guys can change that to any text that you guys want, any font. Uh, you can change the size, the alignment, a bunch of options, the tracking, and I'm gonna head it down a little bit more. Now you guys can use this without text. So if I uncheck the face, uh, it just takes the text away, so you guys can do that as well. You can change the color of the text. You can add an outline to the text, for example, but I'm gonna leave that unchecked. You can add a glow, you can add a drop shadow, a bunch of ways that you can customize the text. And a really cool thing I did here is that you guys can also change the color of the instant film. So we're gonna select colorize, and as you guys can see, it changes the color, so you know I could pick a blue here, and then for the second color, I'm gonna pick a yellow and see what that gives me. So you can do a bunch of different looks, which is really cool, and I would love to see what you guys can come up with. If we head back into the timeline, I have defaulted the transition to be three seconds long, but you guys can make that either faster by making it a bit shorter or longer as well. I really hope you enjoy the transition. The download link is down below in the description of this video. It is the very first link that will take you to a Dropbox folder and you can download the transition from there. If you are interested in another really cool set of transitions that I also created for Final Cut Pro, I'm going to be linking that video up above right now. And if you don't know how to properly download and install transitions, I've also created a video where I take you through a step-by-step -step process and I'm linking that up above right now. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy the transition. And if I can help in any way, please let me know down below in the comments. Reach out to me through Instagram. I would love to connect with you. And if you do end up using the transition, I would love to see that. So leave me the link to YouTube video down below as well. Send me a clip through Instagram. I would love to see what you guys came up with. And as always, all the best. Keep creating, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.